Well, no, but they are saying that this is a golden opportunity for the other candidates to finally step up to the plate because now they're not being distracted. See, and they've Donald been pushing Trump Rubio the last two days. Rubio's going to shine. Rubio, Rubio, exactly. Rubio. Right. Fox News, CNN, oh, Rubio, Rubio. Did you hear about Rubio, Rubio? That right. tells me Rubio's bad. Rubio's be, bad news. Yeah, and it can't Rubio. be. It can't be Rand Paul, who everyone says dominated that last debate. And I like the way that he did it. He went live on Periscope and took people's questions yes. live and, and did his yeah, own. Yeah, Trump's debate. copying that. But he didn't go into any policy. Who has policy. cooler hair, though? Uh, uh, Rubio, Trump, or Rand Paul? Jakari Jackson. Rand Paul probably looks the most natural to me. Uh, I don't know what that thing on Donald Trump's head is. <laughs> I've seen interviews where he actually lets people touch his hair. Uh, so <laughs> I, I, I've... It's, it may be I in there. It you want to touch hair. it? I think I it is would hair, prefer not. <laughs> you know, what's funny is that because Donald Trump has been around for so long and he's always had that same hair, like I have for years, like I've gone in and I zoom in and I'm like, what is... Man, yeah, be honest, as a, as a woman, hair? as a woman, what do you, uh, like, <laughs> a, 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 as a, to a man, Well, if, if are you attracted to Trump? I would have told him to like shave his head a long time ago or something, you know, like yeah. just go with it, man. Like, Can we Photoshop a, sh uh, a ball headed Trump? <laughs> oh, where's the picture with Trump with the man bun? Oh my goodness go. gracious. What about, go and, and listen bun. folks, we're a serious show all day. We're having a little bit of fun here. But back to Darren McBrain and then back to David Knight and them if they're still there. Well, all right, well, Fox News was saying that Donald Trump was a, a, a big listen. distraction before but now he's even more of a distraction. If anything, he's more of a distraction now than he ever was because everybody's paying attention to him. So I don't think it was a mistake ran for, straight for his Donald hair Trump. Some. What's sorry, that? Sorry, this looks like Rand straight in his hair some under criticism of his curly. Oh, man, I want to do that one. Yeah. Trump oh, what is fun. that? Did you hear Trump actually trained as a sumo wrestler? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm That's sorry. Chris Christie's brother. Yes, <laughs> Chris Christie, I'm your brother. <laughs> that sumo wrestler guy out of the... I'm sorry. Go back to you, McBrain. Sorry. We do this every night. Isn't this fun? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I, I, I like that hairdo, though. It's pretty badass. Alex, you'd look good with that. <laughs> yeah, you need a man bun. Well, I Alex play. Man Bun Jones. <laughs> Did you see the sumo wrestler out there at the Bundy thing? Some, th some things that are seen cannot be unseen. Exactly. Well, I like what Rand Paul is saying here is leaving it to the states, introduce solution. McBrain, let's go over some comments from the Twitter verse. Uh, you know what, Alex, there's, there's all kinds funny. of comments. There's really not nothing right now that we've got for you, buddy, other than comments about McAdoo. <laughs> we have the brand watch uh, polls right now saying that Rand Paul's at 71%. And you're on air right now, right, Marcos? Yep, Good. on air right now. I, I always tell me I have great stuff to say. Just come on air. In fact, let's have a free-for-all in the control room. Uh, <laughs> it's an InfoWars free-for-all. What do you think of Dano? Can you believe they actually froze the guy from Hawaii Five-O in the 70s? He's back on TV. So this is what, from social media's uh, opinion of the, who's, who's yeah. got the debate right now, Marcos? Yeah, let's Google polls on debate real time and see which one's scientific with phone calls. <laughs> Plus, they actual, also usually have the Drudge Poll uh, going. Let's see the Drudge Report, the mighty DrudgeReport.com poll. Are we running an InfoWars poll tonight? That, that's a big question. Look, they've all got American flags to let you know they're with America. Yeah, just in case you forgot just which country case. you lived in. Yeah, yeah, let's go over these polls. Here, Trump, can you guys put that on the main screen? Trump, I'm, Trump, my eyes aren't that good. Paul. I still got 2020, I did in 2015. Trump, but Cruz, Rubio, Paul. Trump has a oh, whopping, oh. I think that's 56%. We put that, yeah, there we go. 56, that's pretty good for like 15 feet. Yeah. 56.93, they used to have 2015, that's brother. Amazing. Cruz, 22.48, Rubio. 8.31. It's kind of good not having a photograph of memory anymore. It was kind of painful before. Uh, Paul's, I don't have it anymore. Yes, yeah, right, folks. 6.35. Christie and his brother get 1.41. Kasich, who they have half the debate to, 1.2. Carson, 1.11. Good God. Bush, 0 0.93. It's uh, incredible how far Carson has fallen. Uh, they got uh, they got James Woods and Drag, 0 0.84. Huckabee at 0 0.24 and Santorum at 0 0.2. Santorum wow. is a titan. Yeah. Oh, that's how they promote I didn't the guy. Realize he, I didn't <laughs> even know that they were running. I'm sorry. Until today when I saw that they were going to go to Trump's deal, I was like, oh, wow, they're still. I knew uh, Huckabee was in it. Uh, yeah, Santorum. Yeah. What about Dano? Is he? He's going to win, right? Attention. 
Uh, he's probably going to win uh, Journalist of the Year. But I'm okay with that. I think he's the only person I know that has a wider jaw than mine. It actually makes me embarrassed. I don't count. You like, you, that's your badge Welcome of honor? Piano. Here's my what? I think that's your badge of honor to have the, the wide jaw? No, it's not. I don't. It's painful. I have TMJ right now. It's, 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 it's not fun. Letting you. All right, let's get serious and go back to Darren McBrain. Darren, I know we have massive tweet comments, massive Facebook comments. Let's go to Facebook and let's read the comments that are not about Leanne. Leanne, I'm telling you, head-to-head you, -head against Megyn Kelly on a similar channel, you would annihilate her because you're smarter than her. And, and why? She has the lasso of truth. She has the lasso. Jakari, are you psychic? Yeah. Let's go to Marco Rubio. Let's hear from this idiot. We will re when I am president of the United States on my first day of yes, office. Yes, I'm biased. He's canceling a the deal with Iran and nations. The deal with Iran. Whoa. They can do business with Iran or they can do business with America, and I am very confident they're going to choose America before they choose the Iranian economy. The, the, we just had like five years of sanctions against him. Yeah, his last debate where I think Jeb was making fun of Rubio, saying he was short, and now they're standing right next to each other on this. Let's give some more time to Casey. The whole time I've been deciding what to put on screen. We got all these TVs down here below. You can't. See him. Kasich is on like half the time. What is this guy on constantly about? I know they give him so much time. Good God. I mean, I am about to throw up here. But it's not going to be anywhere near as effective. Rand Paul should be on the damn stage. He, he is, but they don't, well, they don't, they don't ever go to him. No, I know. I know he's over there, but I mean, he should be out being covered. No, that's that's the thing. I mean, we've seen it time and time. Did he get back on because... Uh, Trump jumped off? No, they. I'm not sure. They no. What they did last time was they rigged the polls. David, David explains it much better than I do. But they, uh, one of the polls that would have had him on the stage, they held it for about 24 hours, and they said, "Oh, sorry, you didn't make." Well, it. let's shut Kasich up then, and 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 and, and let's see if David Knight is still there with Biggs. They're gone. They went to sleep. Yeah, you you told me. I love Biggs. You know, I said they go they go better if they wanted to. Well, let's get them reconnected. Biggs was literally looks like my cat in the morning when it's angry, though. He was, like, curled up there, and he was just like, Nyeh. and uh, and uh, I'm going to tell him that I have some friskies for him, and that that'll make it all better. <laughs> Dano. Oh, my God. Hey, you guys like me at night? I think I, you know, my radio show used to be more popular at night. had huge ratings. And then I went to GCN, and they said, no, you're going to do daytime. We're putting it against Rush Limbaugh. Oh, I didn't and know that. And nighttime was much funner. Well, controversial stuff usually does pretty better at night. Yeah, yeah. And then I would screw around more, yeah. Like uh, George Norrie and uh, all that kind of stuff. Exactly. But uh, seriously, I was saying they could punch out if they wanted to. You know, but, uh, you know, I'm tempted to just open the phones up here because... Or, or do we really want to hear what, what the governor Kasich has to say? I don't want to hear anything. Why is this he guy still talking? Why? I'm, am I lying? Has he been up there like a third no, of the time? He, he's up there all the time, and you just read the polls. He's way down in the polls. I think he was in not even at 1%. No, it's just like. Yeah, that's in a drudge poll. In scientific, it's like 3%. Well, it's 3%. <laughs> so, yeah. no, you're right. It was like less than 1% in the thing. I mean, why? Okay, let's hear from him. Including Russia and China. Governor, thank you. He says, I want to blow Russia up. That's why. Oh, yeah, blow Russia up. They didn't do anything. Or ISIS, who this government created, Dano. Fuck Dano. Training facilities. So if you were president, would you deploy U.S. troops to Libya to consolidate their footprint there and setting up training facilities? Why doesn't anyone ask Hillary about the Stinger missiles getting taken, stolen out of the Benghazi? You are sexist for merely suggesting that they should ask Hillary. I'm going to call. Right now. Uh. Three times. All right, well, Christie's talking about uh, what you talking about? Policy that she took credit for. Oh, there we go. Debate. Yes, and now we know from some of her released emails that she initially wanted to take credit for Libya, and now she's All right, I'm she had nothing to, to do with that. Talk to Alex, her please don't wake up the baby. Say different. Hold on. Hold on, I'm calling Biggs. Oh. Okay. This is about the bigger, broader war. Biggs, I didn't want you guys to go off. I've got you a whole can of Friskies. <laughs> we need to develop a strategy together to take on ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I got you on air right now. Hold on. Listen, listen, I was just joking. You just looked so upset during the debate. I felt sorry. You looked so depressed. What's wrong, buddy? Oh, no, I'm good. I was having fun. Oh, you were having Well, then come back on. <laughs> well, hold on. I got to redress. Are they in there? I thought they were shooting a video right now because you wanted them to do a report on something. Well, no, no, I didn't. I was saying go do a report or stay on with us. I just want to make you sit there while we were doing all this. Oh, I'm good. Dude, Megan Kelly does look like a tranny now. I'm not lying. 
Hey, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, I'm, she's I'm on screen. Dude, dude, if the TV puts 20 pounds on you with digit, you know, she looks really emaciated. Is she anorexic? Uh, she's not a tranny. She's a beautiful woman. Like very her. smart. I don't like I apologize. her. To talk trash to me when I was bringing forward all the stuff from Michael Hayes. That's right. You've been on her show. I forgot that. Let's get you on to talk about her right now. And, and I apologize. I, I wasn't trying to get you guys off. I just didn't want to make Knight sit there while I was babbling. And then, but, but then Leanne keeps pointing out that you should come back on the show should Knight. I apologize. I, uh, and listen, if you're a Persian cat, I'm whatever is the biggest, <gasps> fattest cut type there is. I love popcorn right now. Anyways, all right. Come over there. It's teleprompter free. Now, you've not had any beer now, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Like, we're going to get you on the board via phone call or go back over, even if Knight is in his, his onesie. Let's just let's just get this going, okay? All right, let's do this. All right, here you go. We're going to go for five hours. In fact, I'm going to leave and just let you guys take over. I'm going to watch it. Listen, you know why I usually don't come on the debate? Because, quite frankly, I do have... It's because I know I'm obnoxious and I take over, A. B, I'm already on the air all the time and burn out. And then C, I really enjoy at my house with a TV I can roll into my bedroom and then the mainstream debate, watch you guys. It looks better. It sounds better. The stuff you say is better. And I'm like, it makes me feel good. Because I'm thinking, man, why don't I shut up and let them talk more when they're actually on my show because they're really smart. So that's why I may leave and just let you guys take over, even though it's been a good transmission, because that's the mark of a, we have Kit Daniels. Sorry, jump in any time, McBrain. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead, Kit Daniels. There's some tweet right here. It says, a uh, reminder, everybody, including uh, meaning the establishment, thought Trump lost the first debate when he made sexist remarks about Megyn Kelly. His poll numbers went up. Mm -hmm. Now, I thought this was interesting because I want to point out that Megyn Kelly and it's uh, it's an enemy invader from the Gamma Space Fleet. <laughs> I mean, here's the deal. People are sick of political correctness. I hate racism. Yeah. I grew up my parents being fiscally conservative but very liberal about being against racism. So I was oh. drilled, you know, this guilt stuff, which is okay back then. Oh. But now I haven't done anything. I don't need to be guilted. <laughs> so kind of when I hear politically incorrect stuff, I kind of like it because I'm sick of it. Yeah, people are saying that. <laughs> that makes sense? Yes. Yeah, people are trying to claim that Trump is scared of Megyn Kelly. That's why he didn't go to the debate. Right. But Trump has read The Art of War. I think he even re wrote a book called The Art of the Deal. I mean, personal story, you know, if I go on Craigslist, I want to look at a pickup truck for sale. I go out there and look at it. It's not the pickup truck I want, or I think it's not a good deal. I walk away. Same thing with Trump. Yeah. He just walked away from this debate. He had nothing to gain he from it. He shouldn't just fall down in front of the globalist exactly. prostitute media. Excellent point. Kim, okay, we're yeah. coming back to you, but Jakari, that's a good point. I mean, here, what does this debate crystallize? What is this whole fiasco Boil down to Jakari Jackson. Let's see you get angry. Like you get angry at me when I'm being a jerk around the office. Let's see the real angry. Or you know, those, those abortionists were trying to attack me and you stood up for me and protected me. And I fell down and rolled around the ground like the beetle. Now, now go back to that. The guy climbed the trash can, literally. He did crawl, he did crawl, he did crawl, <laughs> crawl in the trash can. He had green skin. It's like slow Jakari, motion. what is your view of this and what he just said? Because I think Trump's had a devastating victory. Yeah, I, I, said, I think it does. It, it helps crystallize that you don't have to fall into the mainstream uh, stratosphere to get your message across. So I think if nothing else, uh, all future <laughs> politicians can learn from the example of Trump and Rand Paul in these past two debates. As far as the whole Megyn Karen Kelly deal, it's never my deal. I'm not the biggest fan of her, but I don't hate her like you know, the scum of the earth either. I don't it's really her. a non-issue to me altogether. I'm not against trannies. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but as far as that, if, if that's Trump good that that's on the record, by the way, yeah. go someplace else, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not against trannies. I think this one's a little too skinny. I'm, I'm getting serious. I apologize. And that's not right, folks. That's not right. But purple penguin. Purple penguin. Purple penguin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She is a purple penguin. Jakari, should we have her announce she's a purple penguin? Yeah, if everybody is a purple penguin. Wow, that is quite the <laughs> screen grab you guys got. Uh, yeah, purple penguin. Hey, why not? It's the most politically correct term. It's, oh, my goodness. <laughs> put it on the screen. Purple Penguin Duck. Extreme. Well, I'll say that. It might be a website. <laughs> hey, hey, let's get serious here. Let's go back to Kit Daniels. Let's go to Kit Daniels. You're on the air with yeah. Leanne yep. McAdoo, also known as Wonder Woman. <laughs> really, uh, I think what really crystallized this whole thing was uh, last night when Bill O'Reilly was begging Donald Trump to, go to come to the debate. And I'll, you know, you owe me milkshakes. And they're so desperate that that's... The most bizarre thing I've ever heard from Bill O'Reilly. And this is the kind of guy that's usually trying to attack people left and right. And I know. agree. 
that photo of them slurping milkshakes together, yeah. two men like white liquids, uh, straw 